I don't think anyone can imagine what's going on here unless you come and see it. Healthcare workers on the front line of the Ebola epidemic in Africa are living a reality they say would not happen in the United States. If you catch it on time, then you, you will recover just as you would in any other like infectious disease or virus. But here, it's not as easy as for us. Rosa Gonzalez is from Spain. She spent the last four years as a traveling nurse and arrived in Liberia in September to work in an Ebola treatment unit with the International Medical Corps. So I'm kind of used to work with like very ill people, um, patients, and sometimes people who died. But this disease is like really taking like all dignity and like making them suffer a lot. The Ebola outbreak began in March and has claimed thousands of lives in West Africa. Liberia is ground zero. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the country has over 4,000 reported cases of the virus and more than 2,000 deaths. That's more than any other country. Health experts say Liberia's weak health system is the main reason for the rapid spread. In Monrovia, they've just opened a hospital, another ETU, and it's completely full in three days, 120 beds, and it's completely full right now. ETU stands for Ebola Treatment Unit. They're like pop-up hospitals specially designed to treat the Ebola virus. Gonzalez's ETU is in a rural part of the country, and patients sometimes have to travel long distances to get there. We need to go and get them with our ambulances, which sometimes takes four hours drive and uh, four hours back. So it's taking us more time to gather these patients from the county. There is definitely a big need of having more ETUs. Gonzalez said extreme heat and the high risk of contamination limit how much time workers can spend with patients. Two hours is as long as the team can stay dressed in the personal protective equipment. So it's like pretty energy draining. If we could be there longer, uh, probably we could help them more than we are doing right now. But it's just that It's impossible. Patients from all walks of life and of all ages are treated at this ETU. One in particular was part of a community burial team. When someone dies, he and his team make sure the body is carried and then buried properly to avoid spreading the virus. But despite those efforts, another team member got infected. They know they are risking their lives and without them it wouldn't be possible. It's quite a sad story. Gonzalez said even though there is a high risk of contamination, she's confident in her team. I know it could happen, but I have the feeling that we are doing the things in the right way. So I feel quite confident when I go in at the end of the day. There are patients and we are nurses or healthcare workers, but we are all um, people.